In time, with the recent celebration of the 49th National Day of the UAE, let's get to know more about this beautiful country. The country I've called home for four years already. Together, with celebrating the 49 years of unity between the seven Emirates and embracing the country's spirit and resilience, let me introduce you to the symbolic birthplace of Abu Dhabi. Hello and welcome to Qasar Al Hussein. First, let's take a look onto the brief history of United Arab Emirates. It has been written that in December of 1971, the rulers of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Ajman, Al Ain, Sharjah, and Umm Al Quwain agreed to unite, formulating the notion of UAE. Later, in February 1972, the 7th Emirate, Ras Al Kaima, decided to join the conglomerate and became a single entity. The idea of united colonization in UAE began soon after the British declared their willingness to withdraw from the colonies and protectorates of the Eastern Mediterranean. A meeting was held between Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahayan and Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, and upon mutual consensus, they decided to unite, inviting the other Gulf Emirates to join hands. Although the British departed in 1968, the National Day celebrations started three years afterward in 1971, when the Emirates Federal Constitution approved the principle on December 1, 1971. The very next day, the 7th Emirate decided to join hands as well. The current flag of the UAE was raised in a hostel building now known as the House of Union, where the heads of seven Emirates gathered to take an influential decision. Sheikh Zayed was the elected president of the Union and Sheikh Rashid was the vice president of the UAE. Each year, the 2nd of December, marks the festivities of the National Day of the UAE. And here, introducing you to a place considered the symbolic birthplace of Abu Dhabi, Qasar al Hussein. As the oldest standing structure in Abu Dhabi, the picturesque Qasar al Hussein is home to an original watchtower that makes for incredible photographs. Built around the 1790s, this commanding structure overlooked the coastal trade routes and protected the growing settlement established on the island. It comprises two major iconic buildings, the inner port and the outer palace. Transformed into a museum following over a decade of intensive conservation and restoration work. Kasar al -Husin is a national monument that encapsulates the development of Abu Dhabi from a settlement reliant on fishing and pearling in the 18th century to a modern global metropolis displaying artifacts and archival materials dating back to as far as 6000 BC. Today, the beautiful Al Hussein site which has seen immaculate renovations, is a wonderful place to which to while away a few hours and soak up the fascinating history of the UAE capital. Children will love exploring its beautiful structure and nooks and crannies. Being an archipelago with hundreds of islands, Abu Dhabi has a deep and rich connection with the sea. With a house, of artisans showcasing some of the intricate sea craft created by local craftsmen. For thousands of years, the people of UAE have found ingenious ways to both understand and benefit from the richness of the ocean. The boat building industry also helped develop trade relationships across the Arabian Gulf and the Indian Ocean, with boats made for pearling and fishing significantly contributing to the local economy. 
in coastal communities. The thriving fishing industry used local materials to create unique designs for fishing nets and traps, improving the catch of different types of sea life in the Arabian Gulf. From its opening in 1981 to the time of its extensive renovation and beyond, the Cultural Foundation has remained true to the original aspiration of the late Sheikh Al Nahayan, fulfilling one of his ambitious and far-reaching visions for the UAE and its people, to share the nation's timeless endowment of cultural heritage and art with the world. Fans of culture and craft and those looking for unique mementos will love the site's House of Artisans, an incredible center that promotes the preservation of the UAE's intangible heritage. A coordinated effort to protect and bring the traditional Emirati crafts of the past to the heart of contemporary culture. The center offers training courses, educational workshops, and other public events open to residents and travelers. Here, local artisans create beautiful artworks on site with pieces available to purchase. Sadu is a traditional form of weaving practiced by Bedouin nomadic Arab people using sheep camel and goat wool to create distinctive designs rich in geometric patterns that reflect social identity and the surrounding environment. Traditionally, used to create bait al shar or tents, tent dividers, camel accessories, saddles, straps, and more. In recognition of its importance, in 2011, Sadu was inscribed onto the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Kus sees male and female artists using date palm leaves to weave or braid functional objects like surud or circular placemats, fans used to cool oneself or fan flames, food covers, and baskets to curry dates with the techniques and colors used offering elements of personal artistry. Tali, a traditional form of decorative embroidery practiced by Emirati women, sees cotton or silk intertwined with gold and silver threads to decorate collars, sleeves, and hems of the kandura and traditional women's robes with intricate designs and vibrant colors adding personality. Creating this beautiful embroidery is a time-consuming and complex process that requires patience and concentration. Accomplished professional seamstresses are sought out for their unique and outstanding creations. The Heritage and Works showcased at the House of the Artisans are so beautiful and well-respected that in 2019, the French Luxury Association made up of prestigious brands including Dior, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, and more collaborated with the center's local artisans to promote cross-cultural dialogue between France and the UAE. The nearby Cultural Foundation is also a fantastic place to visit, especially with children. Having gained regional and international acclaim as a world-renowned venue for culture and the arts, the building itself has gained prominence as a modern heritage landmark. Registered as one of Abu Dhabi's cherished cultural heritage resources, Featuring workshops, classes, exhibitions, and more, travelers who love creativity and culture will be in their element here. With a family-friendly site offering activities for all ages.
this is arguably the most captivating site in the United Arab Emirates capital, with foundations dating back to around 1760. It also happens to be the oldest building. It was known before as the Old Fort or the White Fort. The interior of the Al Hussein Fort has been modernized and is now used as a museum that traces the history and culture of Abu Dhabi with oral histories and plenty of historical photographs on show. The courtyard and the magnificent tile work over the northern gate are notable features. Surrounded by sprawling skyscrapers in the center of the city, the magnificent white fortress has served as a fort, a seat of power and even a community library over the centuries. It was reinvented once again in 2018, this time as a museum, after more than a decade of restoration by the Abu Dhabi government. Back in the 18th century, it began as a watchtower, the city's first permanent structure. It was built to oversee coastal trade and subsequently guarded the settlement as it expanded. An inner port called Hosan, made from coral and stones from the sea, was erected in 795, while Qasar, the outer palace, was added by Sheikh Shakput bin Sultan al Nahayan at around 1939. Although the building was home to the ruling family for years, it went on to house Abu Dhabi's National Center for Documentation and Research. Qasar al Hussein was closed to public for around a decade before it reopened in 2018. Its latest incarnation includes a huge new theater, two new exhibition halls, an outdoor gallery, a visual arts center, and a children's library. There's also a huge water feature, a mangrove garden, prayer area, and a house of artisans where visitors can watch live demonstrations showcasing traditional handicrafts. The surrounding area is designed to reflect the geography of the Emirate, from the salt flats to the coast, while the traditional porgil, or the ventilation system, which moderates heats, has also been preserved. Visitors can explore the historical port along with the living quarters of Sheikh Shakbot. Over the centuries, this place has been home to the ruling family, acted as the seat of government, housed the National Consultative Council, as well as being a national archive. Today, it stands as the nation's living memorial and a narrator of Abu Dhabi's history.
Abu Dhabi is a well-ordered industrial city with a pretty waterside location. First inhabited by the nomadic Baniyas tribe in 1760, the settlement remained a fishing village until oil was discovered. The revenues transformed Abu Dhabi into the modern city of today, a bustling center of government and business. It has been decades ago since they have commemorated their National Day which gave birth to the place we now know as the United Arab Emirates. To honor and reflect the spirit of the union of all the seven states mark a great achievement for the people. Thank you for having me, UAE. Shukran Jazilan.